welcome or welcome back to Rise and Align, where we talk about all things high vibrational. We are your hosts, Demi and Haley. Uh, today, we are going to finish off Taurus season by talking about how you can get grounded uh, and especially you know, how you can connect to nature and get grounded into nature. Uh, Taurus is an earth sign, and so I think it's just a really good time to embody that energy and learn more about how we can embody that throughout uh, summer and the seasons that follow. I feel as though, you know, there's a lot of chaos in today's world, and it's very fast-paced, and it's very uh, technology-focused, so it's really important to find ways to ground yourself and to slow down and find stability and connect with the earth. And so today we're going to talk about our favorite ways to do that. And I would love to hear what being grounded means to you. Okay. Well, I think it's a lot about getting into your body, getting out of your head and into your body and really immersing yourself into the present moment. A great way to do that, and I've heard like psychologists recommend, is to name like three to five things that you can see, that you can smell, that you can touch, that you mm-hmm. can taste, to really ground yourself into the present moment. I'm definitely yoga. I know mm-hmm. for both of us, oh, I'm obsessed. And they call it grounding. Uh, when we first started talking about this episode, this is the first thing that came to my mind. When you walk barefoot, a lot of mm-hmm. people call it earthing as well. But when you walk barefoot on the earth, it's such a good way to really ground yourself into physical and really align yourself with the frequency of the earth. Yeah, I totally agree. And earthing is one of my favorite ways to get grounded. And it's just so, so simple and magical, you know, just putting your feet on to the earth, whether it be on the grass, whether it be on a rock, moss, like whatever it is, you're actually soaking in electrons. Was it like negative electrons? Mm -hmm. And it's scientifically proven to have the benefits towards your health. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we wear shoes every single day, all day, every day, it feels like. And I think it's so important to take your shoes off, take your socks off, and plant your feet mm-hmm. onto the earth. And I mean, it makes sense because we are then allowing our bodies to connect to that same natural current that mm-hmm. runs through the earth, which, mm-hmm. you know, as you said, has health benefits like lowering your heart rate and balances your cortisol levels, mm-hmm. improves your sleep. It actually decreases inflammation. Yes. And it's, it's said to help with chronic pain. And I think that it's mm-hmm. a really great tool for those with like anxiety or depression as well. Mm-hmm. It helps balances your moods and it's going to connect you to that energy of the earth, that balancing, stable, uh, just a grounded energy and I just think yeah being mindful of that energy that you're soaking in and if you're intentional with it I think it's even better so if you you know are walking say on a bed of moss and you think about you know taking a deep breath with each step and you know finding gratitude in that moment and you know just imagine yourself soaking in that unconditional loving grounded stable earth energy i Mm. have to say too like as a taurus so as she described that i pictured it and i was like yes i love to focus on the feeling it brings so i love to focus on like how squishy the moss is and how cool it feels if you ever notice the ground feels cool besides like sand or pavement Mm -hmm. it always feels cool like it's almost like you can feel it changing your energy it Mm -hmm. feels so good and i'm just obsessed with really just immersing into that physical experience and Mm -hmm. enjoying and appreciating all of the delicious goodness of the moment and the earth is infinitely abundant and i feel like when you connect with her you connect with that infinite abundance that feeling and it's so easy to think about what you're grateful for it's so easy to think about the present moment it's so easy to tap into that energy when you are spending time with mother earth or if you're spending time in nature it becomes effortless to find that inner joy and find that presence yeah i agree It's, it's literally natural yes 
And there's other ways, you know, it doesn't necessarily have to be earthing, but Mm -hmm. that is an easy way. You can go in your backyard and walk around on the grass. Like it's, it's just, I find to be one of the easiest ways, but, you know, going out into the forest and touching the trees and, you know, just even just going for a walk or having a little picnic in the woods, like that in itself is you know a great way to connect and ground in with nature but also getting into bodies of water Mm -hmm. which so cleansing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yes yes it is cleansing and it can be grounding as well especially I feel like river water to me is just like oh it's so good yeah it's so good it's so refreshing (laughs) yeah it feels wonderful body mind and soul Mm -hmm. and the reason that it feels so good to ground into nature is because it brings you back to that present moment but grounding can be grounding into the present itself Mm -hmm. and that doesn't have to be the physical things around you but the physical things around you in the here now can help you get back to that Mm -hmm. but you can also use meditation or breath Mm -hmm. work like breath work will actually well depending on what kind of breath work you're doing but pretty much all of it will take you away from your mind so that you focus on only the breath which brings Mm -hmm. you back not only to the present moment but it immerses you as a part of all that is Mm -hmm. yeah yeah uh going off of that yoga is another great practice that you can use to practice grounding it Mm -hmm. does many other things but if you are wanting to invite more of that grounding energy in I invite you to you know maybe stand in a mountain pose you stand each foot planted rooted into the earth and you just stand there and imagine roots growing out of the bottom of your feet and like rooting their way into the soil and you kind of create this connection with mother earth where you know you can soak up that energy through the bottoms of your feet and even if you're not actually standing outside like this can have benefits if you're you know just in your on your yoga mat in the house you you mean you don't even have to be on your yoga mat but just like imagining you soaking up that grounding earth energy and there's a lot of other poses that are really helpful when you're wanting to ground yourself as well I love a child's pose that is a little bit more of like a comforting uh, pose as well as grounding Uh, like warrior two you're standing like you're standing tall and strong and you're you know stable and you got a good foundation you're planted into the earth I just I think you know yoga is a really great practice that you can utilize to get grounded I totally agree and I think that part of that is like this feeling centered this feeling strong and centered like Mm -hmm. you can tell when your mind is wobbly so is your body Mm -hmm. (laughs) so yoga is such a good like self check-in and also to get you back to that centered place Mm -hmm. it's it's so good I had done this meditation one time that was for grounding specifically and she had us sitting in a cross-legged position how you normally do when you're doing yoga and you were meant to envision yourself in the ground so the ground was like holding you down and stable and it was a really great feeling Mm -hmm. and I totally I do that when I'm outside just sitting on the ground you know just Mm -hmm. to feel that that grounded feeling Mm -hmm. yeah I also think that (laughs) there's tools that you can use to help you feel grounded so crystals carry uh different frequencies Mm -hmm. and there's a lot of crystals that you can use to help with grounding uh some of my favorite are moss agate I always describe moss agate as like the frequency is if you just went and took like a nice walk in the forest like yeah. holding that it, I feel like it just embodies it so well but it, it is green so it also connects you to your heart chakra as well I really like uh, red jasper as a grounding crystal and a lot of the black crystals are known to be good for grounding and they remove negativity and they'll help calm those fast-paced thoughts that you're carrying or the anxiety so it helps to uh, bring those down and it is also going to help get rid of a lot of the the black crystals like obsidian and hematite they're going to help with getting rid of the emfs Mm -hmm. so getting rid of the other like technological frequencies that are jumbling around you as well So I think crystals are just an amazing tool. And I know we did talk about colors a little bit last time as well. Like Mm -hmm. wearing grounding colors can also help you embody the the grounding energy. Most definitely. Mm -hmm. I think it's interesting because I think that grounding brings us back no matter what, you know, tool or practice you're using to get there 
brings us back to who and what we truly are, which mm-hmm. is just presence, you know, mm-hmm. is just consciousness. And it makes sense that in aligning our mind and body through that centering, through that grounding, that it would have health benefits, you know, mm-hmm. that because we're really truly aligning with who and what we truly are. And it feels good. It feels mm-hmm. relieving. It feels cleansing. It feels joyous. It feels light and easy. Mm-hmm. And, you yes. know, it, it's so like we should all be doing it all the time. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> yes. It really brings you back. It solves everything that I've heard Eckhart Tolle talk about how presence will cut through any source of negative emotion at all. Like it'll cut through anxiety and depression, mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. presence will fix everything mm-hmm. <laughs> it'll fix all of your problems mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> yes and just so grounding is a great way to help you find that presence yeah. and I think it's such an important practice for people do who do have more chaotic thoughts or if you do have anxiety that it is such a good way to you know appease those thoughts for me that's been a major thing like I have struggled with anxiety uh, and being grounded has been kind of the number one thing that has helped me I think it's cope with it yeah you know because it's like I think when you practice these things on a regular basis it becomes habitual to feel that way and Mm -hmm. so then when you feel the contrast you Mm -hmm. know like no out of alignment something's off you know Mm -hmm. and and you also know how to cope with it like Mm -hmm. okay I'm going to do these things that make me feel grounded Mm -hmm. and when you feel grounded I mean you're also grounding in yourself so you're able to easier make decisions and you know not question yourself so much and Mm -hmm. you know not question it's like you because you're aligned with you you feel your your value and your worth and you feel what's right and wrong for you and you're Mm -hmm. able to clearly navigate those things because Mm -hmm. you are grounded Mm -hmm. in who you truly are Mm -hmm. yeah Uh, so important it's (laughs) so important I also like to think of it with like the zodiac signs you know the and the four elements Mm -hmm. you know uh earth being one of the four elements you you can also in a sense become too grounded Tauruses have the shadow side being like they're stubborn Mm -hmm. in that they don't want to like change their ways or like Mm -hmm. move on from you know what's normal for them and I think you know yes it is so important to be grounded but you also have to find balance with you know the other I I like to see it as finding balance with the other three elements as well so not being too caught up in just what's here on earth but finding a balance within the other four elements to, mm-hmm. or the other three elements too, if that makes sense. It, to me it does because I think I see it where people get so caught in the physical that they forget that like their mind is what's creating their reality. Mm-hmm. So they get so like, well, right now, right here, my bank account, it says $4. And so that is who I am and I'm stuck here forever Mm -hmm. and it's like no 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 no. like if you change your thinking you can change your actions you can change how you feel you can change your whole life Mm -hmm. and it all starts by just doing simple things like grounding Mm -hmm. you know and and so so many people are stuck in and it's it's like okay yes it's good to be in the present moment but they're stuck in what's going on in the physical world around them that's causing them negative emotions mm-hmm. and they attachment. just yes they're attached to it and so they think that by attaching and trying to control the situation that they're going to get it to like move in the direction that they want mm-hmm. but this world is one of attraction so you cannot push and try to control or pull you have to attract by aligning your energy to that. Mm -hmm. So the only reason you want anything is because you believe you will feel better in the having of it. Mm -hmm. But if you feel better first, Mm -hmm. then you can attract it. Yeah. So that's kind of the point of, you know, becoming grounded and becoming aligned and really centering in who you are so that you can attract what you truly want and you can really feel the way that you truly desire to feel. Mm -hmm. And if you are a human here with us, you may have noticed that um, when you when you set a goal or a desire, you get there and it's really exciting for like a minute or two, you know, maybe a day or two, and then you want something else. <laughs> We're mm-hmm. always desiring. Yes. We're always wanting, wanting, wanting. And so we have to realize that it's not the physical thing that is going to 
solve our problem or make us happy Mm -hmm. or bring us success. It is the feeling that we truly desire. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in learning how to practice this and becoming grounded, you know, regularly and more so than you're not, Mm -hmm. then you'll start to see your whole life reflect that. Mm -hmm. It's really beautiful. And I mean, I think you can get, you can be so much more focused and so much more productive when you are in that calm mindset and you yeah and you see things from a different perspective if you come at things from you know this chaotic mindset or you know you're you're so caught up in the energies of other people or the Mm -hmm. opinions of other people or anything you know going on externally you know that is going to impact how you perceive situations and how you act on situations but if you do go at things from this grounded calm state you you one you'll make decisions that align with who you really are and two you can see it for what it really is Mm -hmm. you can approach it in a way that is you know a little bit more logical in a way but Mm -hmm. and also from more of a detached way where you're not so worried about the outcomes because you know uh what you're doing is what is meant to be and that everything is always going to work out for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, no, truly, <laughs> truly. It's it's interesting because when we're emotionally like feeling upset or whatever it might be sad, we don't think clearly. Mm-hmm. We actually do not think clearly. So, you actually block your own way to your desire. Mm-hmm. by doing that because you might be in this situation like we'll just use the bank account thing again because it's so easy so many people use it my bank account says this number it's not changing i'm stuck on it i'm everything's falling apart i'm stuck i'm stuck i'm stuck but if you say okay i'm just going to ground and center and you know maybe i'll go for a walk in the woods mm-hmm. and i'll look at the abundance in the woods mm-hmm. and then you come back And you might suddenly see like all of these different opportunities, perspectives and possibilities around that same circumstance and you'll react in, I mean, you'll respond instead of react and that changes everything. Oh my gosh. Because if you have the ability to think about, wow, there are infinite possibilities. It's not just this one yes or no and this one thing that I've been taught can't work then all of a sudden you start to act on those thoughts Mm -hmm. and you start to come up with so many more, um, what's the word? It's not necessarily possibility, but solution. You come up with Mm -hmm. every solution. There's so many solutions that you were blocking yourself from seeing by staying caught into that, in that emotion and in that physical circumstance. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I highly recommend if you're going through any contrast, negative emotion, you're trying to solve something, Just take a deep breath, go for a walk if you can, or do something that's going to make you grounded and then respond because you're going to find a solution that at the time you had no idea was there. Never respond to any text messages or anything like that when you're in a bad mood, when you're right in the heat of the moment in those negative emotions because you will not, you'll be reacting and you will regret what it is that you reacted with rather than if you really want to take control of the situation, align first and mm-hmm. then act out of that alignment. Yeah, I love that. And I actually, so I, I did a tarot reading for myself this morning and I got a message that was very similar to oh, that. And I just perfect. wanted to, I wanted to share this because this is kind of what uh, I received this morning. And I, and my intention was when I pulled cards was like, what do I need to share with the world today? Uh, so I feel like this is what I need to share with you. So perfect. I feel like in that scenario, you, you know, you're creating space, you're creating space to, uh, find new, um, solution. Yes. Yeah. So I think it was this card. Um, uh, it was the 10 of wands that I had pulled and, uh, the themes around this card was burden, responsibilities, struggles, and burnout. And the 10 of wands, it says, depicts a witch carrying 10 heavy wands. She is struggling. The city in the distance is far away. All of the wands are tied together. They are no longer free or standing firmly in the ground. There's no space between them, no space for creative ideas to flow. Although she has the strength to carry and make it to the city with her heavy burden, her journey would be much more pleasant if she stopped. 
took a break, and came up with a new and more effective plan. It is never a bad idea to ask for help or consider if the burden is actually hers to carry. We all have our limitations. The Ten of Wands serves as a reminder to not put so much on our plate. Not every idea is worth pursuing, and burnout is real. There's a famous Russian proverb that my mom used to say a lot when I was a kid. The slower you go, the farther you will be. Meaning that when we rush thing, when we rush things, trying to power through without a good plan, we are more likely to make mistakes and get hurt. Some, sometimes those mistakes can take a toll on our health and erase all the progress that we made. So do not push yourself too hard. <laughs> that is the message of the day. I did yoga outside this morning. It's funny. It was probably at the same time you pulled yes. this card. And there are all these weeds growing in my yard. And there's these horrible like sticker bush things that stick to the dog. And I started looking and I'm like, oh, my God, they're growing everywhere. And I started like digging them up. And I was like, no, this will take me years. I cannot <laughs> do it by myself. Like my backyard is too much right now. And I need to ask for help, which is something that you know, I've maybe struggled with in the past, but I'm like, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ask for help because there's an easier solution and I can make enough money to pay somebody to do this rather mm-hmm. than spending weeks trying to do it myself and probably mm-hmm. hurting myself in the process. Yes. Yes. And you were doing yoga. You were mm-hmm. probably gr- in a grounded, calm space state where you could see things from that perspective you're creating space for solutions to come in and I just think that when you're grounded that is when the magic happens that's when things start to feel easy things start to you can see you know the uh what is it you can see the light at the end of the tunnel like you can see you can just take things for what they are and not attach meaning to them and not you know take life too seriously in a way like it's just it's so good yes 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 if you are aligned with the frequency of ease then life becomes easy Mm -hmm. I've always been so huge on that ever since I think I started listening to Abraham Hicks when I was pretty young like maybe a teenager and she would always say like all you have to do to manifest what you want is to align to that frequency and I always thought well having like love and ease and tons of money feels good it doesn't feel like efforting it doesn't feel like working hard it doesn't feel like this horrible struggle Mm -hmm. it feels easy and so the more that I practiced that and the more that I spent time doing things that felt good to me and that helped me align with me the easier my life has become Mm -hmm. and whenever I fall back into that you know, physical struggle thing that we have going on, which is just a mind thing. It's just a matter of your mind. Mm -hmm. Um, That's when life becomes hard, when I feel like it is. Mm -hmm. But as soon as I'm like, no, all right, do some yoga, then I'm like, oh, everything's great. Life's, everything's solved. It's great. Yes. (laughs) Yes. I've talked about it before. Like I, money comes to me easier when I'm getting grounded, when I'm spending time in nature, when Mm -hmm. I'm doing yoga, like Money just appears, I swear to God. Like, it just appears. The less I work, the more money I have. And the less worry. I'm sorry. I don't know why it's like this. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and you're just so, because you're so present, you you let go of the, the resistance that you're holding on to. You're, you're letting go of the worry. You're letting go of the negative emotions that are preventing, mm-hmm. you know, those blessings from flowing in. Blocking. Mm-hmm. Blocking yep. the blessings. Yeah. 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 Because I think that, you know, grounding in who we are, who we are is infinitely abundant. Who mm-hmm. we are is consciousness. Who we are doesn't need to worry about these things in the physical. Mm-hmm. This is just a silly game we made up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, yes. I don't have to worry about paying bills or losing weight or any of those things. Like, it really is all in your head. It, <laughs> it really yes. is. Yes, yes, yes. They're all just limitations that you yes. set for yourself. Yep. <sighs> Isn't it fun? <laughs> oh my gosh. It is though. It is fun to me, I think. I, I don't mind the contrast because I have spent so much time learning how to ground and learning how to align because then you hit contrast and you're like, okay, well, I will solve this. Mm-hmm. It's just another little puzzle. Yes, you trust. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. It'll, in fact, yeah. it'll solve itself. <laughs> it does. Yeah. You, what is it? You letting the universe figure out the details or like trusting mm-hmm. the universe to figure out the details like you don't have to worry about the specifics you don't have to worry about how it's going to get solved and in fact if you are focused on how you're going to solve a problem you are blocking yeah 
uh, potential solutions that are better than you could ever imagine. Yes. So if you just let go of the worry, let go of it and let the universe take care of it. Let go of the when and how. Let mm-hmm. go and let God. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Yep. You don't have to worry. It's so You good. don't have to worry about mm-hmm. anything. The only thing you should ever, and I shouldn't even say worry about, but the only thing you should ever even consider thinking about is how you feel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah. So even, you know, taking a deep breath right now, just letting yourself be present here. So good. Just let that soak in. Even just letting like the sunshine shine on your face from inside. Like that's a good way to connect with her, with nature. Oh. Feeling your heartbeat. How good. It is so good. Creating space. I surrender. Yes. I just love this. I don't know. I feel so good now. (laughs) Me too. too. We've let it all go now. (laughs) I also, I just uploaded a video for uh, the new moon in Taurus that is all about grounding and creating a stable foundation. Um, So if you guys are interested in that, it doesn't have to be on the new moon in order to practice it. But um, we will have, I have my information linked below, but if you want to join me for that practice, it's a really good one. Yay. I will. (laughs) (laughs) Well, on that note, I think this is a lovely episode. It's short and sweet Mm -hmm. and, you know, just reminds you to, ground and take a deep breath find presence connect with your inner earth goddess remember who you are yes well we will finish our episode up here it's a little bit shorter than usual but i think that it's short and sweet and we got across what we really wanted to share with you guys today uh we really do appreciate you so much and we're so grateful to have you here with us and raising the vibration with us yeah i completely agree thank you so much make sure to get in touch with us on socials we are planning on having some events this summer with just a bunch of high vibrational people so we'll see you in the next episode i believe we're going to do an episode on flow mm-hmm. Ooh, we, we're doing like the four elements it'll be like water we're doing earth and then water and then maybe we can oh, do the other maybe two. Maybe we can do fire. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's perfect. Okay. All right. We'll talk to you guys soon. Love you guys. <laughs> Love you. Bye.